In today's video, I won't be discussing any new ventures or properties in Punta Cana. Occasionally, it's beneficial to pause and reflect on essential information that you, as a consumer and investor, should be aware of when contemplating investments in Punta Cana. My intention is for this video to address numerous questions you might have and dispel any misunderstandings. As most of you already know, Punta Cana is located on the eastern coast of the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean and has a tropical climate with warm temperatures year-round. The average temperature ranges from 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. On occasions, it can get in the 90s. The region experiences two main seasons, the dry season and the rainy season. The dry season in Punta Cana typically runs from December to April, characterized by sunny and less humid weather. This period is considered the high season, attracting more tourists. The rainy season in Punta Cana generally occurs from May to November, with increased precipitation and occasional tropical storms. This period is considered the low season due to the higher chance of rainfall. However, even during the rainy season, there are still plenty of sunny days and tourism continues throughout the year. Is Punta Cana safe? Punta Cana is generally considered safe for tourists. There are people from all over the world visiting this vacation destination and lots of attention have been placed by the government to keep tourists safe. It's always recommended to take common safety precautions such as avoiding isolated areas at night and keeping an eye on your belongings. Don't go flashing bling because you're making yourself a target. Exercise good judgment. Is it safe to drink the tap water? It's not advisable to drink tap water. It's generally safer to drink bottled water or water that has been properly filtered or treated. Ice that has been made using a filtration system is safe, but tap water in Punta Cana may not be safe for consumption for some visitors. What is the currency in the Dominican Republic and can I use US dollars, euros, and or credit cards? The currency in the Dominican Republic is the Dominican peso. And yes, you can use US dollars, euros, and credit cards. It's a good practice to know the exchange rate and fees before deciding which method of payment to use. Generally, it's better to use Dominican pesos, but the choice is yours. Do I need a visa to visit the Dominican Republic? Visitors from many countries, including the United States, Canada, and European Union nations do not need a visa to enter the Dominican Republic as tourists. However, it's recommended to check the visa requirements specific to your nationality. If you overextend your stay, meaning past 30 days, you will need to pay a fee upon exiting the country. You can, however, apply for a short stay visa or a long stay visa depending on how long you plan to stay. Is it easy to get around in Punta Cana without renting a car? Absolutely. You can use taxis, Ubers, public buses, and of course the motoconchos. Please exercise caution when taking these motoconchos as they don't provide helmets for the most part. And if you're staying in a central area or near popular attractions, walking can be a convenient way to get around, especially within resorts or along the beachfront. Can I drive with my driver's license from another country? If it's current, yes. How far is the airport from the resorts? That depends on the resort you choose. Club Med is 8 minutes away. Margaritaville and other resorts in Capcana are 15 minutes away. The resorts in the Bavaro area are 17 to 20 minutes. And the resorts in Macau and Uvero Alto are 35 to 40 minutes away. Do I need to have credit to invest in the Dominican Republic? Two things with this question. Having credit is one thing, and having qualifying credit is another. You can have a 300 credit score, or you can have an A50 credit score. This may or may not be a factor when investing in a property in the Dominican Republic. If you are not contemplating seeking financial support by means of a loan or a mortgage because you plan to pay it off by the time the delivery day comes along, your credit is not a factor. If you will be requiring a loan or a mortgage to pay the remaining balance owed to the developer or builder, among other qualifying factors, your credit worthiness will be evaluated to qualify for the loan or mortgage. So it's best to plan on which method you will be using when it comes to investing in a property. What is Confitor in the Dominican Republic and does every project have it? Law 158-01 or Confitur Law establishes certain benefits and tax incentives for real estate projects, shops, and commercial activities to encourage investment in tourist areas of the Dominican Republic. It grants tax exemptions to owners of specific properties. 
A builder or developer needs to apply to the government to be granted Confitur. Not every project will have the benefit of the Confitur law. The benefit of having the Confitur is that you are exempt from paying the 1% property tax for 15 years and the 3% title transfer fee. So it's a great benefit that investors can take advantage of. What is the procedure if you want to buy but can't go to the Dominican Republic at that moment? First thing you need to do is send a copy of your passport and front and back of your driver's license. If you have a Dominican cedula, that'll work as well. This must be done with everyone whose name will be on the agreement to purchase. Once you send this information, if the unit is still available, it will be blocked. Then you have until the next day to send what is known as the reserve payment. Some companies allow you to do it through Zelle, others with a credit card, but the most popular method is wire transfer. Once this is done, you will be getting documents that need to get filled out by you and anyone else whose name will be on the agreement to purchase. And all parties involved need to fill them out. Then you will have to sign an agreement to purchase. All this should take place within 30 days of reserving. Then you start your payment plan the following month. The Dominican Republic is a developing country. The economy of the Dominican Republic is considered one of the largest and fastest growing in the Caribbean and Central American region. It has experienced steady economic growth over the past decade, driven by various sectors such as tourism, manufacturing, agriculture, and services. Tourism plays a significant role in the country's economy, with Punta Cana being a major tourist destination. The Dominican Republic attracts millions of international visitors each year, contributing to job creation, foreign exchange earnings, and investment in the tourism sector. Records keep getting smashed. From January to April this year, 2023, the Dominican Republic has had 3,745,475 visitors, and Punta Cana Airport has experienced significant growth in recent years due to the increasing number of international flights and the high volume of visitors to the region. That begs the question, will Punta Cana be overcrowded with so much construction going on? While some reports claim that there are over 50,000 rentals available in the whole country, and these are through platforms like Airbnb and Verbo, it's safe to assume that with millions staying in the Punta Cana area, there's plenty of opportunities for growth and rental properties. Bear in mind that location, amenities, and conveniences play a big role in how well you can potentially do with your rental property. Not every apartment or villa will do well, but I always say that there's an audience for every product. It's all in the marketing you choose for your targeted clientele. If you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you will have already received a lot of this information from past videos. But if you haven't subscribed yet, I urge you to do so today. This contributes to the growth of this channel and will encourage me to keep providing you with all the latest projects being developed in the Punta Cana area and make informative videos that will help you make informed decisions on investing in real estate opportunities. So again, please subscribe to this channel, give my content a like so the algorithm kings can push my content, hit the notification bell and most importantly choose all so you get notified immediately when a new video is uploaded and of course be nice to others who may be looking for these opportunities as well and share it with them did you know i also have a webpage www.mikemastersprecents.com go check out the blogs pictures testimonials and more and become a follower on instagram at mike masters presents I'm Mike Masters, wishing you all lots of success in your investing plans. You can reach out to me via email to info at mikemastersprecents.com or mikemastersprecents at gmail.com. You can also text me or call me direct or via WhatsApp to 484-944-1621. Don't go at it alone. Let me help you. Until next time, have a great day.